In this video, I'm identifying 10 terrific wines that cost $15 or less. So whether you're interested in quality daily drinkers that won't break the budget, or if you're going to be hosting for the holidays and looking to buy large quantities of wine to please your guests, this video is for you. The first top wine for $15 or less comes from Campania Vinicola del Norte de España, or CVNE for short. Specifically, I'm talking about the Cune Rioja Crianza, which I found on sale for $13.99. You can probably get it for a little bit less than that if you shop around or buy in quantity. CVNE is one of my favorite Spanish producers because they're well known for selling wines that are high quality, yet available for extremely reasonable price points. This is a family-owned producer that traces its roots way back to 1879. This wine is a blend of Tempranillo, Garnacha, and Mazuelo. Mazuelo is better known as Carignan outside of Spain. This wine is medium-bodied with red fruit, light tannins, and ample acidity. It's definitely a food-friendly wine and one that would be an excellent choice for your upcoming holiday meals. The next top wine for $15 or less also comes from CVNE. This time, I'm recommending the Vigna Real Crianza, which I found on sale for $15. The Vigna Real Winery and Vineyards are located in Rioja Elevesa. This Crianza is typically 90% Tempranillo, and it has small percentages of Garnacha, Mazuelo, and Graciano. Vigna Real has a state-of-the-art winery that was completely overhauled about 15 to 16 years ago. This wine is aged at the winery for 13 to 14 months, in a blend of French oak and American oak, but this oak is neutral. Due to the use of this neutral oak, the purity of the fruit shines through and is very impressive in this wine, especially at this price point. The current release is the 2019 vintage, which was excellent in Rioja, but even if you find an older vintage on the shelves, I would not hesitate to pick it up, as this wine offers extraordinary quality for the price year in and year out. If you're interested in a sparkling wine, you may wish to consider the Domaine Bousquet Organic Brut Rosé. This sparkling rosé comes from the Uco Valley in Mendoza, Argentina. The vineyards are in the Tupungato area and are located an impressive 1,200 meters above sea level, which is one of the highest elevations for vineyards in Mendoza. This sparkling rosé is a blend of 75% Chardonnay and 25% Pinot Noir. It's produced in the Charmat method. There's flavors and aromas of lemon, lime, peach, and strawberry, and it has ample acidity. It's a very refreshing sparkling wine, and I found it on sale for only $11.99. So definitely one to consider if you're interested in a quality sparkling wine at a reasonable price. Now for a white wine. The next top wine for $15 or less is the M. Chapoutier Cote de Rhone Belle Rouge Blanc, which I found on sale for $14.99. This name translates to beautiful beehive, and this wine is so named because of the beehives that adorn the sustainable vineyards of M. Chapoutier. This white blend is an excellent introduction to white Rhone wines. White Rhone wines are a little bit underrated in my view, and so if you've not tried them yet, you may wish to consider this one. This wine is a blend that includes Grenache Blanc, Viognier, and Roussan, as well as other permitted varieties. The ABV comes in at a reasonable 13.5%. This wine features flavors and aromas of apricot, pear, apple, almonds, and floral notes. This is a well-balanced wine that's perfect with seafood, salads, cheeses, or even just by itself. The Zuccardi Series A Malbec from the Uco Valley in Mendoza, Argentina is the next top wine for $15 or less. I found this one selling for $15. Zuccardi is a world-class producer and definitely one of my favorites in Argentina. This wine includes a blend of fruit from three different sites. This blending helps to increase the complexity of the wine. The producer's goal with this wine is to use lots of fresh fruit so that the wine is enjoyable on release. This is Zuccardi's entry-level wine, but it's one that offers exceptional quality at this price point. I visited Zuccardi about a year ago, and I learned that they're using much less new oak in their wines these days than they did even five or ten years ago. Instead, they're using lots of concrete and neutral oak. I've been extremely impressed with the results, and for a wine that's only $15, this wine has incredible purity of fruit. So really a nice wine at this price point. Sherry is a category of wine that I think is quite undervalued and underappreciated at the moment. And so my next top wine for $15 or less is the Gonzales Bypass Vigna AB Amontillado Sherry, which I found selling for $15 for a half bottle. 
Despite this modest price point, this wine was extremely well received by critics. It's a very complex wine that features flavors and aromas of dried apricot, toasted nuts, honey, and caramel. But it is nevertheless an extremely dry wine, so it's not sweet, even though some of the descriptors suggest it may be sweet. This wine matures for four years under a layer of floor, which is called biological aging, and it ages nine to 10 years altogether before it's released. This wine comes in at 16.5% alcohol by volume, which is on the lighter side for a sherry. This wine goes extremely well with tapas and foods like cheese and charcuterie. So if you haven't tried sherry yet, I definitely recommend that you give this one a shot. If you're interested in wine recommendations, wine collecting strategies, and learning more about wine, please do subscribe to my channel. I've been collecting wine for more than 15 years and also have a level four diploma from the WSET. So I have both formal certification as well as substantial practical knowledge from the School of Hard Knocks. Producer Enrique Mendoza makes the next top wine for $15 or less, namely the Alicante La Tremenda Monastril from the 2019 vintage. This one is a phenomenal value at just $13 per bottle. This wine is another example of the tremendous quality that you can get at even modest price points in Spain. This wine is 100% Monastrel, which also goes by Morved in other countries. The fruit for this wine is grown in sandy soils from vines that average 26 years of age. This wine is surprisingly fresh and elegant. It's a fruit-forward wine, but yet one that has some complexity to it. It's very approachable and ready to enjoy immediately. This wine is an absolute no-brainer and one that I cannot recommend highly enough. In 1930, Baron Philippe Rothschild introduced Mouton Cadet as a way for more consumers to be able to afford wines from Bordeaux. The fruit for this wine is sourced from partner wine growers that have long-term contracts with stringent requirements that help to ensure high-quality wines year after year. I tasted the 2018 Mouton Cadet recently, but the 2019 should also be on shelves soon, if it's not already. This wine is a Merlot-dominant blend that includes flavors and descriptors of blackberry, black cherry, and black plum. It was a very smooth wine, and one that was definitely very approachable and ready to enjoy immediately. This is an extremely affordable wine that's widely available and provides surprising quality at this price point. It's no secret that I'm a big fan of Gigal wines. Gigal has been one of the leading producers in the Rhone Valley for many years. I'm particularly fond of their Northern Rhone wines, but they also make an exceptional Cote de Rhone. This Cote de Rhone offers excellent quality, but can be purchased for as little as $12 to $15 every year if you shop around. This wine consistently scores in the 90 to 92 point range. While this wine is definitely worth pursuing every vintage, I'm particularly fond of the 2018 vintage because it includes a little bit more Syrah than normal. Most Cote de Rhone is Grenache dominant. However, this 2018 Gigal Cote de Rhone is 50% Syrah and has 40% Grenache and 10% Mourvedre. Due to the higher Syrah content, I would recommend giving this one 30 to 60 minutes of air if you enjoy it near term. It's also one that you can probably even age for a few years as well. This is definitely a wine that should be well received at parties and gatherings, and one that I definitely suggest buying in bulk. Like Spain, Chile is an excellent place to look for high quality wines at affordable price points. My next top wine for $15 or less comes from the Maple Valley in Chile, specifically the Haras de Perque Husine Gran Reserva Cabernet Sauvignon from 2018. This wine is an excellent value for only $13.99 per bottle. It's not that easy to find a quality Cabernet Sauvignon for $15 or less, but this one was very enjoyable. This wine featured a mix of red and black fruit with some oak influence and a smooth, enjoyable finish. So if you're looking for a value Cabernet Sauvignon, you'll definitely want to give this one a try.